Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy. It's Beamerstein. Not Beermeister. Uh, today, I'm trying something a bit different. First uh, time attempting an actual interaction video. But the reason for this is I've been getting a lot of requests from people uh, asking for help on how to set up the Logitech wheels even though I have a, a Thrustmaster wheel um, I seem to know my way around the Logitech wheels I had one uh, about just over a year ago um, but uh, some other settings kind of work almost both ways um, yeah so let's get straight into it uh, first of all, whether you have a G25 or a G27, you need the Logitech gaming software. But this is the older version software, the 2010 version. And if you have the G920 and the G29, you need the latest version. There's an update that was, that was released recently. Um, all available on the Logitech website. Uh, I'll just show you the websites. Um, as you can see here, this is the 2010 version of the Logitech software and this is for the G25 and the G27s. And this version, as you can see, has been updated in April and this is for the G920s and the G29s. Further than that, that is what you need to get your wheels working after that I would highly recommend getting content manager um, this old tutorial is also where you can edit your driving feel way better than what you can do in the normal Assetto Corsa game uh, using Content Manager. Content Manager is a great app. It's the best out there for a set of course. Uh, you can do various things. You can do uh, things for your showrooms, various showrooms. You can, I mean, it's so much easier just importing car mods, track mods, um, let alone the shader patches. Uh, that is the graphic settings. This so much of graphic settings that it actually looks real um, obviously depending on your PC if your PC can handle it uh, but wow it's really stunning um, the next uh, um, uh, thing that you'll also need is something called uh, the wheel checker now the wheel checker is a program meant for eye racing but it's also um, you can integrate this to set up your wheel for a set of course. Now, when I'm, uh, I talk about setup wheel, this uh, tutorial that I'm trying to show you is, is you can do it for drifting as well as racing. Uh, there's like small minor changes that you might have to do for the feel of the wheel. Uh, but what I want to show you is what all happens in that process. Even though I've got a Thrustmaster, the principles can still work exactly the same. Um, however, the Thrustmaster software uh, somehow conflicts with uh, when you're doing these type of things and the feel that kind of disappears. So on the Thrustmaster, uh, even on the Fanatec wheels, you, you, don't want to, you don't need to do this. The reason why you're doing this with, uh, with the Logitech is the, if you notice and you're driving the game, the force feedback feels so clunky and it clips so hard. So sometimes your force feedback feels great on one side uh, when you're turning the wheel to a certain degree and you turn it further as like the whole feel of the wheel is gone and then all of a sudden it is so strong again which it makes it unpleasant. It's not smooth enough uh, and this is... Uh, basically due to the the graph that is assigned for the wheel in the game so going back <clears throat> so once you have uh, a content manager installed it's very easy to install 
uh, you download it from this website I'll even include the the link of this website in the description uh, download it place the app even on your dashboard start it up all it will ask you is to assign your acetocorsa folder path and that is basically it you can basically run the game um, if you notice on my if you have been watching my live streams you'll notice you'll be seeing this type of window all the time um, coming up in the live streams when I'm changing the car when I'm doing something else uh, this is the content manager and no you don't need the full version don't you don't have to buy the full version the free version works just as well uh, but closing that quickly the next uh, other programs that you'll need is the loot generator which is available on the race department you'll also need ffb clip for the logitech now what loot generator does and what i'm going to show you what it does is once you have your wheel checker app right this is your wheel checker app that you can see it's an iRacing name there on top um, this is how it calibrates the wheel and i'm going to show you if you can see my wheels basically the rim of my wheel that's here um, you would go to the step lock 2 linear force test and just leave it and just see what happens the wheel just starts moving on its own slowly but surely and it goes further and further and that is what it's trying to determine how sensitive and where all the sensors are for the force feedback and it will stop on its own so while we're waiting for paint to dry um, yeah let's just wait for paint to dry six months later okay so there the wheel is now done right so it has a files automatically saved and that will be in your documents folder in your your system documents folder it will be there uh, you might not recognize the file but the loot generator does so on the loot generator if you go into a race department you download it from there you need to have an account obviously to download this particular program uh, you also need the same account to download the FFB clip right now going back to this the loot generator this is the program it looks just that small when you open it you'll go down to your documents this is what I've done previously when I had Logitech wheels and so forth so what is today's date the second you open it up uh, that now it's asking you to save your file so I've saved uh, various versions of it the crazy one is the standard version that the game actually saves uh, for this but uh, just for this tutorial sake uh, I'll say uh, TSPC right and it will save as a LUT or a LUT file I don't know how you want to pronounce that that is it and that is basically showing you my graph curve my graph curve might differ from your graph curve but i do not use this type of program so what happens on the graph curve is if you can see my mouse your graph curve sometimes will be both lines are together uh, it, it varies um, but it's not something to be worried about when i possibly put my other wheel on which is my racing wheel i will get a different result uh, because the wheel weight is different the wheel size is different this one is heavier than this one um, so yeah even if you have an aftermarket wheel on your on your on your logitech uh, it will also give you a different result from the standard small base wheel right once that is done your loot generator is set all right now you go to your <coughs> sorry now you have to go to other part of a set of courses now when you go into the other part of a set of courses you are going to your uh, actual programs I'll go run the steps through with you I'll just make this bigger so you in your set of courses first place you'll go is to CFG and your file 
that's not necessary save here but what I'd like to do is I copy my file from my documents folder into here which is right now in your set of course folder you go to your CFG now you see there's my previous loot so what I normally do is I go to my documents set of course CFG over here right then you'll see it's TSPC I'll copy that going back to the main set of course folder in the CFG I'll just paste it here right now once you're here you have to go into your FF process and the FF process deals with the force feedback processing All right um, and you need to activate now that file that you have just done right now so yours might look slightly different because I've edited mine before um, I can't even remember what the standard version looks like but normally I think your gamma would be on one and with your gamma being on one on your graph here what that does is this graph here of your force feedback of your wheel your graph will spike up come down and spike up again and come down again now this is my previous one that I've installed and you can see my curve is much smoother right so going back to this you need to activate that so on your gamma your gamma version will be zero and your crazy loot would be that weird graph one and now I have to get the one that I just did so the one that I just did was TSPC so I changed this file to TSPC and it's still a dot loot file lut file and you just save it you close that and then that will basically give you this thing to show you if it is actually working let's import that one that i just did so there's the tspc one and it's important you notice that the graph just moved slightly up because it's it's changed it's changed now with this rim it's changed now with over time as well because your wheel gets older it wears down stuff does happen um, your next section that you would want to change is in your assistor course any file right now your assistor course any file is based is on your in your systems folder in your systems folder you go to cfg there and you'll see there's your assistor course any file this you just need notepad to edit in any case if you have notepad plus plus it also works uh, notepad plus plus is just a better integration of uh, uh, editing uh, i and i files or any files right now i got another <coughs> page up here which is this version here and this is the steps that you need to take in order to get your wheel to feel like it actually supposed to be instead of clipping that hard right so you can see that the FFB skips is on zero right enable your gyro sometimes your gyro isn't enabled your damper level on zero so I'll make that on zero as well even though I don't need to but just showing you where these things are right uh, mine stays as is because for me it's pointless changing it to the Logitech setup it does not it does not work right the next thing you'll look for is your wheel speed clip your low speed your low speed force feedback so when there's low force or uh, low uh, um, wheel speed uh, meaning the low force feedback so how does the wheels weight actually feel and so forth that is the other thing that you're uh, enabling and your soft lock now the soft lock is when your wheel is turning by itself sometimes sometimes the wheels don't turn as fast as you would like but when the wheel turns to this part it doesn't clip back hard um, in your hand uh, if you have been driving with a wheel before you'll notice it clip back quite hard if it's 
on its very end. So that helps with those settings. Then, <coughs> basically your stuff is set up, right? But now don't forget, you need to import the loot file. So what yours would normally say is a gamma thing and it will show you that weird graph. And then select the LUT, import it like this. I can even import the older version and it, the graph will look like that. All right. Now, furthermore to the settings, if you have your, 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 um, your, oh man, your Logitech gaming software, there's some other stuff that you also would like to change. Uh, uh, here's just an example of what you would like to change. If you have the old version for the G25 and the G27, then you have, you do these settings right i recommend using these settings it does still give you that feel for the drive on the wheel what i don't recommend is using a 900 a 900 degree turning on your wheel for me i feel that there's a total overkill you're having to fight with the wheel with the wheel that um, because the logitech uh, uh, uses belts and gears the rotation is so much slower so you're actually having to throw the wheel and help the wheel actually to turn to recover on your drifting side of things. So reduce it. I would say start at five, uh, 540. If you feel that you can handle the 540 and you feel you want to have a bit of more rotation, take it up to 660, take it up to 720 even. But if you really are that good, um, which is sometimes it's really hard. I tried it. I don't enjoy it. Why must I try and drive like the real thing if I don't enjoy it? This is not real. It's the closest we can get to it. But if you don't enjoy it, then why are you doing it? All right. So this is for the, the, the G25 and the G27 setup. So that is the in-game settings. You can still do these settings right here that you see here in your content manager or like this here. As you can see, I don't use curb effect. I don't use road effect, slip. ABS, I don't use any of that because the Thrustmaster wheel are basically all integrated already. But the things that you need to look out for is the stuff like your soft lock, your post processing and your gyro effects. Make sure that you have those stuff set up. Your gain you can leave at 100. You can even move your gain up to 150. I've seen guys driving with a gain on 200 even because they're looking for the strength of the wheel. Um, the the strength of the wheel also will be determined by the your actual rim that you have on. So if you have the bigger rim, like this one is the bigger rim, you, you would want more uh, strength out of the force feedback so it can give you that similar feel that you had with the smaller rim. All right. <coughs> and on the uh, the new Logitech gaming software side, you will see this version of it, right? Uh, one thing that you must note to cancel on both this version and the previous version, uh, which is those, this version over here, is to disable the center spring. Make sure that the center spring is disabled because the center spring, that center spring, just throws everything off. Uh, for, for one instance, if your car is standing still, the wheel will feel light, um, which is the right way because you would assume the car has power steering. But when you're actually driving or sometimes drifting also, it also feels so light because of that center spring. And all of a sudden, when your car is standing still, the next time, the wheel feels too heavy. Uh, and that is excluding any damage that's even on the game. All right. So do those settings the settings over here start off with those the 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 curb and the roads that I would take all the way down I'll even take it down to 2% even uh, because this this effects are so strong within the game it, it, it makes it unjo unenjoyable see so some guys that I know that drives with the stuff that you can even hear in in your own headset how hard the wheel is actually uh, uh, shuddering uh, uh, with that type of effects uh, for me I've, 
I purely don't enjoy it. I feel that I feel that I want to be more smoother with the wheel. Uh, I must control the wheel, the unnecessary clipping and those type of things. It's not my style. If you like it, by all means, do it the way that you feel. It's all down also to personal preference. Uh, I, but personally, I don't like it. Right, so going back now, you have downloaded now the FFB clip. Now, with the FFB clip, once you have Content Manager installed, now with Content Manager, the nice part of Content Manager is if you have FFB clip. So let me just find where my FFB clip is, if I can find it for one sake. Uh, okay, there's my FFB clip. So that is my file that's right there. All I do is I drag it in and it will automatically install it for me in the game. This is the nice part of Content Manager, All right? So once that's installed, you go to your apps, you'll see that FFB clip is enabled, and then you are good to go to drive. However, the setting doesn't stop there yet. I need to show you what happens actually in game. <coughs> so going back, I need to obviously change back my settings because it's not going to do anything great here. Uh, I have to disable that because obviously the thrust master thing uh, but just to show you going back into the game uh, oh I don't know that track is gonna load uh, let's just try let's try BDC Rocket M Oh, no, waiting for paint to dry again. I need to skip the spot. Okay, so now your game is loaded in, right? Um, just loading a tune. Uh, just to show you, that is the FFB clip, right? You do not want to have dynamic on. If you go to the options, if, if you want to know where your FFB clip sits, it is if you scroll to the right and you'll see the FFB clip, right? That's where it is. If you go to options, you run it in the background. You leave these basically as is for now. If you go and you search manual override, the FFB clip will stay stagnant and will not monitor what is actually happening with your wheel. Right? If you have a direct drive system, you actually can adjust much more the torque. Um, so those are the things you you can do with the FFB clip. I don't have a, a direct drive wheel. I'm not sure if the people with the direct drive wheel even uses this thing. Uh, I haven't even seen anything about it. But going forth, my FFB clip was set on 75. I'm taking it back to 100. This is a standard setting. So if you see, even you notice that your you have three values that's there, right? The last value which is basically the A. I do not know what this abbreviation stands for, but just uh, figured it out myself. The last value is actually the weight of the wheel. You'll notice the weight of the wheel. Now, when you're doing changes to the FFB clip, doesn't necessarily mean that it's already changing. You'll notice once you start driving and you, you're turning uh, certain places, uh, you'll see it most commonly on uh, 
uh, a race, uh, uh, when you're driving a circuit race or race cars, uh, what actually happens, where adjustments are actually moving. Like there you can see now that my FFB clip has started to adjust the wheels weight again. Uh, adjust the, I assume the one would be for rotation and so forth. Um, but the more I adjust it, the more it will change. Oh, my bad. Right, so you can see there the FFB clip has already adjusted everything until there. Right, taking your FFB clip down, the wheel will feel like it's already gone lighter. Right, you can take the FFB up to 120 even. You will feel it will be heavy. Uh, sometimes it might not feel heavy enough. You might have to adjust the gain in content manager again to to give you that weight that sometimes that you desire because some cars, uh, uh, not some cars, all cars feel different. Whether it's drifting cars, whether it's racing cars, whether it's even the drag cars, it all feel different. Um, like uh, just for interest sake, the drag factory or Honda, you have to make the force feedback so light to actually turn the car because there is so much of front grip on the front wheels. Same for the Premiere. The Premiere is a very hard car to drive because there is so much of front grip and so much of front wheel torque and that is what throws the steering off. So the FFB clip just makes it easier for you to adjust everything. But what this entire process was actually about is to give your wheel much more smoothness when driving. Even with drifting, it makes it so much smoother. The wheel doesn't clip, the wheel doesn't, it doesn't have that clunky, you always hear that clunk, clunk, clunk of the stupid, uh, of the Logitechs. It does that, it is noisy, it is irritating. But um, that is basically it. If there is any questions, if there's any thing that I've missed that you would like to ask me feel free to ask me uh, you guys DM me I'm, I'm here to help if the video did help you uh, if the video didn't help you if you have a better suggestion on certain things by all means share it with me I'm quite curious uh, to get a better driving experience from my wheels uh, Thank you so much for, for watching. Keep safe. Oh, and lastly, I would like to thank all these people that recently has followed my page, liked my page, shared my streams. Um, I mean, the, the support I'm getting recently is so overwhelming. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I'm only a single guy tries not I'm not single I am married uh, I'm just a guy trying to do what I love most uh, I love gaming I love racing games um, and I've always wanted to do streaming so there is a gigantic list of people that has lately even myself damn um, even like shared followed uh, followed of what I'm doing commented all the time um, I, I can't say thank you enough uh, if you feel that you want to be more involved um, well, I'm open to some affiliation business I'm also willing to accept sponsors god damn um, but yeah, in all seriousness, uh, I do this basically because I enjoy what I'm doing. Um, I've been a game cop all, all my life. Uh, it's just got to a point where I am so comfortable with what I'm doing right now. Uh, I just want to share it with you guys. Uh, my passion of how much I enjoy drifting, racing, drag racing, even uh, doing uh, the burnout garage. Uh, I had lots of fun. Uh, with my teammates and so forth uh, so yeah thank you for all for watching